So the song starts off with this chord, which if you play on the guitar, is a, um, an A7 with a flattened 13th. And um, pretty much what you're doing is you're playing an A7 chord, and instead of adding that note there, which is going to be the 13th note of the um, major scale, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, we're going to flatten it to that note there. So we're going to play that A7, but we're going to add that note in, so to make it sound cool and jazzy. And uh, basically what you're doing is you're going to be barring the 5th fret, and then on the uh, G and B string we're going to put those two fingers there on the 6th fret, and that one's going to go on the um, 7th fret of the A, so it's going to go... So that's going to be 5, 7, 5, 6, 6, 5. And that's the chord that starts off, and in fact, um, on the record, uh, there's kind of a piano and he's playing a kind of an arpeggio and he actually goes there, he goes... So if you want to do that, you can kind of add that little finger to that um, high E string at the 7th fret. And then keep that, remove that little finger and put it on the A string at the 7th fret. But it's a really cool jazzy chord, that. And then we're going to start off, um, we're going to do this, we're going to go D, D9. For those of you who don't know what D9 is, it's um, we've got the fifth on the A, fourth on the uh, D, and then that finger's going to bar the rest on the on the fifth. So F sharp seven. So all that is again is going to bar every bar that at the second fret. And then we're going to play um, third fret on the G and fourth fret on the A. So, so. And next we're going to play B minor. Then we're going to play this chord. So that's going to be B minor, just normal B minor. And then you re you remove your little finger from the um, what's that ninth fret of the uh, D string, and put that finger on the eighth fret of the uh, D string. So a B minor. And then remove that little finger to replace with that one. Then we're going to play an A uh, minor seven, which is just a general A minor seven, but just the jazzy way of playing it. Usually A minor. A minor seven is played like this, but um, you know jazz players generally play it like this, where they they don't have that fifth note in there. They just basically play um, bar all the notes at the fifth, and then put that one over the E at the fifth, and then to a D seven. So all that is is going to be um, uh, A string, fifth fret, uh, D string, fourth fret, G string, fifth fret and then um, B string 3rd fret, so, so that again, then once we get that far we're going to play a normal G chord, then a G sharp diminished, which is a cool jazzy chord, and basically what you're doing there is you're playing the um, sixth fret of the um, D string. That one's going to be on the seventh fret of the B uh, G. Sorry, that's going to be on the sixth of the B, and then that's going to be on the seventh of the high E. So. So from a G. And then we're going to go. So all that is is going to be a D7 to a C7 to a B7. So you can play it this way if you want. But I'm playing it this way. Basically, I'm bar the D7. I'm barring the um, fifth fret from the A string down, and then I'm putting that one on the seventh of the G and that one on the seventh of the B. So it's then move it down by two that down by one. So that part goes like this. And then we're going to play
play uh, an A sharp seven. And to an A7 again, which is just a normal A, a sharp 7. And then we're going to play a D, back to an A7 again. So all those chords, all again, go like this. And then he plays the, uh, the chords again, and he just repeats those chords over and over again. And um, But, to my ears, he doesn't play the um, D9 again. He pretty much plays D7. Because a brass section comes in, I can hear the brass section playing that, that note there. So apart from the intro, where he plays a D9, I think all the other times after that he plays a D7. So he basically plays this. And so on. And that's basically the um, the song all the way through really. And that's pretty much the song all the way through. Um, if you want to solo over it, he's using D major and D minor. And um, it's worth listening to the song because it's, uh, it's weird because usually people put jazzy licks into a bluesy song. But this one, Clapton's putting bluesy licks into a jazzy song, and um, it sounds interesting to me anyway. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>